I'm going to show you today how to add um, conditional fields in um, in a mail merge. So let's start with a mail merge. Um, I'll use the mail merge wizard. So I'll, I'll do a, name, a letter, for example, with the current document. I'm going to select the recipients from, a, for example, a, a database. Um, I've got a test, test database here. Um, here, for example, <clears throat> and I'll use um, I'll use a, a report from the database. That's uh, that's got a list of uh, users uh, which have been approved, yes or no. Okay. And so I'll use that, that list complete. Okay. Um, I can add. <clears throat> you already know this. I can add the the fields either by insert uh, and um, the quick parts and the fields, which we already have seen in another video. Or we can um, go to the main menus, which is much easier in this case insert mail to, uh, merge field and um, <coughs> and insert uh, for example the uh, full name and the uh, search okay and then we want to add a conditional field here which says depending on the value of the of the table if this application has been uh, approved or not so we go to the rules this can be done manually with the insert um, Quick parts field using the if field if you know how to use it manually, but it's not easy. So I recommend to use them in the many mailings menu, the rules. And you see here basic rules: ask, fill in. If not, then merge record. Blah, blah, blah. In this case, it's an if, and this opens a wizard which is much easier to use than the manual method. So, for example, I want to see if the value approved is equal to in my database it's um, yes or no uh, value which obviously as you know in the <coughs> in an access database values are minus one or zero but it's a true or false field so if it is true even though I have yes or no I have to put true um, I will say it does meet and if it's not I'll say it does not meet. And this inserts the um, field. You, what you're seeing is the first case, the result of the first case. As you know, if we right click and we toggle the field code, we can uh, see what it does uh, and even print it out um, and modify it. Okay. So um, now it should be working. I'm going to preview the letter. Um, so um, let's preview them. Timmy, Timothy Allen. Okay, I'll go back and leave a space there. David. Okay. So Timothy Allen, his application does meet. Uh, uh, requirements. Okay, his application does meet. The next one, Ricardo Green does meet, but ja Jacob Murray does not meet, and uh, Philip Patterson does meet. Okay, just so that I I uh, recommend you just to check that it works. To add here the field that you uh, just to test the field that you uh, are using the condition on, and then you can see that if it's false, it does not meet. If it's true, it does meet, so it's working perfectly. Okay, so that's now I can delete that field uh, and continue with the with the mailing. Uh, I could do this with this. I could do this with a Mister or a Missus, depending on the, the if it's male or female. Um, it conditional fields are really useful for mailing. So I hope this helps.